Hello and welcome to another Thursday weekly video. Today I know you've been waiting for this one. It's my organization video. So I personally use a Nairn Condren Life Planner. I've been using it for a year and I have another one for 2016 already. Um, this video is going to be about how I organize my life. It might not suit you, it might suit you, you might be able to take bits and pieces, but I hope it can help you in a way. Um, I know that if you live in the UK, the Erin Condren Life Planner is quite expensive to get, and especially because the postage is so expensive. So I'm going to show you an alternative uh, planner you can get, which I used to have before and I still really love. And I know if at any point I wasn't able to afford the Erin Condren one, I would still go back to this one. I'm going to show you... Uh, how you could use um, different tools in a notebook if you don't like planners and just want to use some of the tips I give you. I am also going to show you some really really good planner stickers that I found on Etsy and I have bought more just for this video. I needed an excuse really. <laughs> but um, yeah and if you watch until the end of the video that might even be a little surprise if you like planner stickers. So first I'm going to explain to you what I use for planning. I use three different things my planner as I said then in my kitchen I have two things on my fridge I have this now everything is written in French because that's why I bought it but basically it has a calendar that's a weekly one a shopping list um, bigger calendar and some post-its I like it because it has everything I need on it I use this mostly for meal planning so what I do is that I put in there all the meals uh, I'm going to make in the week and I just stick that on the fridge there are magnets at the back I know you can find probably something very similar in the UK. And then I have my shopping list. So as I add the um, meals I'm going to do, I add the ingredients I need for this. This we use, if for example during the week we realize we run out of something, we put it on this list. So then every time we go to the shop we can just lift the first post-it and we have the list of things we, we need just before the full weekly shopping. So that's my main meal planning tool really. The second thing I use in the kitchen and this is something in French again because I, I just love the design of it and I bought it in France. It's a big wall planner. Um, I haven't filled October yet at all even though it has started which is not like me at all. You can see that I've been busy in the last few days. Um, yes so basically it's a way for everyone in the family to know what's going on. I use my planner but I'm the only one really looking at it. And for example, for James to be able to know if we have something someday, if it's written on there, not like I've done there, um, then he can see. I'm a very visual person, so stickers for me are, I'm, I'm going to say a must, no they are not, but they really, really help me. This one comes with sheets of stickers, like this, that you can use in the planner as well. Um, so I have one on my wall. I have this one, any kind of wall calendar really can do the trick. It's just a way, if you have anyone in your family who's not good with planning, and you are, and you just want to make sure they know things are going on, at least it's in the kitchen, everybody goes through the kitchen at some point during the day so they can easily have a look and see if there's anything on. Before I move on to show you how I use my planner, I'm going to first show you an alternative to the Erin Condren uh, Life Planner you can get easily in the UK. Uh, this is it. I had got one made um, before I basically got the Erin Condren Life Planner as a gift and I didn't know I was going to get it and I had ordered these, this one. Uh, it was my second one. Uh, it's from a website called personal-planner.co.uk. I'll just write the link down there and put a link in the description box if you want to have a look. What is good is that you have a plastic cover which is really good. Uh, inside you can choose yourself the layout that you want. So I have chosen the week on two pages but you can really personalize that. You can also add little boxes at the bottom like this. Uh, there was like a meal planning one. You basically choose the content of all these boxes. And another good function is that you can import your contacts uh, from Facebook or you can create a list if you want of all the birthdays of the people. So then whenever they print it, basically they have um, I'll try and show you they print uh, on it the birthdays that you have entered and you can save this list so um, the next year you can just import your list and add it to that they also include um, holiday calendar you select the country you want 
which is good when like me you need to know about two countries so in this I had put the French ones and the UK one this way I knew when there was celebrations that we don't do in the UK when they happen etc um, it's a very very good planner I, I can't fault it to be honest I just the only thing is that it is not as pretty as the Erin Condren life one so it's just the reason why I'm sticking with Erin Condren when I can afford it but um, yes so that's a really good one if you want something more affordable I can't exactly remember I think this size there's a lot of different sizes but I think in this size it was 20 around 25 pounds so it's quite good if you don't want to spend 25 pounds or something like that a notebook is also a great way to get organized so this is a double page in uh, November which I have not yet decorated so I'm going to show you how I do this so this is basically what's already all on my planner so we have the window cleaner who comes every four weeks I use uh, I like color coding everything so I you always use that darker blue for that then I have my ballet lesson which is always in pink and uh, this color is for the video that's released that day so as you can see I have not planned what this video is going to be yet this was for bin collection so here we have the normal bin and here we have the recycle bin these uh, stickers are ordered from an Etsy shop called Sweet Kawaii Designs I will add the link in the um, description box they are a US based uh, shop um, but they have a lot of cute little design like that I only use them for these kind of things and then the Owens dance class and then any birthdays I always put in there and at the bottom there I'm using that for my meal planning so I'm going to show you uh, with some sticker planners how I decorate my pages and how I uh, then just add things in and get organized so I'm going to show you for that uh, first set of stickers these are all stickers by Tallulah Hula this is a weekly um, pack so in the weekly pack you get eight uh, full-size boxes you get four of the half-size boxes you get a weekend banner you get eight of those uh, check boxes like this eight of the to do stickers eight of the little thing stickers and eight of the little washi strip style uh, thing some little dot stickers and these little uh, water drop shaped ones that's for the weekly one and then i'm going to show you the monthly pack which i absolutely love she has just redesigned them so you get a lot more in them so you get four of the weekends you get some of the little lists like that these i'm excited about i think it's more for the cinema like what movie you're going to see or watch but i'm going to use them for filming days <laughs> for my videos these um lists are amazing looking i think and i love the little uh deers like this then you have some of the stickers that says to buy, to clean, to watch, some mail, some money, uh, washing machine, and meals. And then you get eight of the um, full size uh, boxes. And then these uh, stickers, all her stickers like this with wording, you can actually ask her to write any word you want inside them. So it's quite handy. I have left these because they seem quite appropriate for what I need them for. Um, and then again you get more of the tick boxes some of these little ones as well so they come in a variety of color i will show you quickly all the colors i really love these ones it's like gold and mint really really like those um but if you go to her shop i will put a list down here and watch until the end of the video because you may get a little surprise at the end she sent me an extra sheet of um stickers for free which was really lovely thank you very much uh, this is another um, monthly pack and then another one this one is my favorite but I've used it already in my planner so I've decided to use the other color scheme so this is a little look at all the stickers and now I'm going to show you how I decorate a double page with the weekly one and then a double page with the monthly one
So I've now decorated the full week um, and what I've done is that I've put two dots on each day there so I'm going to have my lunch and my dinner planner on this. Then every day I have added also a little things section. This section I use um, for anything that happened during the day I want to remember. Uh, at the weekend I usually have a um, box like this with the weekend box where I kind of put sometimes I will do like a picture uh, over the two boxes or it, it just it just depends sometimes I just write something that happens sometimes I will stick a nice sticker uh, about how the day went I will do a little picture and really varies a lot so I'm going to decorate the next page with um, the monthly ones and then I will just get back on the other side of the camera and talk to you a little bit more about um, my weekly organizing so here is another example of how I could use the stickers. As you can see, there's never a really set pattern. I kind of do it as I go along, but the only thing that remain are the to-do lists, the meal planning, uh, and I'm going to explain to you now how I do that every single week. So here is how I get started. At the start of every month, or usually at the end of the previous one, when I'm on time, I start by filling uh, my monthly planner. So as you can see, uh, there are a lot of different colors and the reason for that is that I have a specific color for each person in the family. I am pink because I'm the only girl and I had a pink pen in my set. Uh, James is red, Alfie is green and Owen is blue. And then I use uh, orange for things that involve the family in general. And I use either a black or a dark blue for anything else in the planner. It might seem a bit useless to some people, but if you have a photographic memory, you will probably understand why I'm doing this. Um, I kind of have a photograph of this in my head, and I know that on this day there is such and such colors, and therefore I know that this or this person has something to do that day. Uh, so I start with this, and then usually, now I haven't done it in that one, but in the notes section there of the monthly pages, I write anything I want to achieve during the month. It can be any goals, like weight loss goals, uh, exercising goals, um, habits I want to change, uh, things I want to do, like I'm on a massive decluttering mission at the moment in my house, and this is the reason why the list is not on that, it's on a notebook, because it is massive, <laughs> uh, and it just wouldn't have fit in there, and I just decided to get a notebook and just cross things as I go along, which is why I said, all these things I'm doing, you don't really need a planner to have them, um, working for you it's just what I like but they can totally work in a notebook like a simple notebook so um, that's what I start I start the month like this then um, I fill in my planner with anything that is has to be done like uh, appointments and things that can't change and then based on that I try and determine that each week of the month I'm going to try and do such and such tasks so usually the one that takes the longest I usually start on the first week because if they need to last a bit longer in the next weeks, I can just adjust my planning according to that. And then um, what I do every single week then is review the tasks, what I have done, what I haven't finished. Anything that I haven't finished, I also add it to the next week uh, list. So I have a monthly list of things to do and then weekly lists of things to do that get updated sometimes on a daily basis from that. I create daily to-do lists, which is where I um, end the list in my planner. I am going to show you an example now. It's very messy looking. <clears throat> this is how my planner looks by the end of a week. Um, as you can see, there are a lot of things in to-do lists and I just tick them as I go along. But when I do this, it just keeps me really focused and I achieve a lot more because instead of panicking and thinking, Oh my god, I have so many things to do this week. I know that this day I have only so many tasks and I just tackle these. Once they are done, then I can start thinking about the ones in the next few days. Sometimes it happens that I know in the next few days I have to do this or that and have time. So I do it in advance because with children you never know when you're really going to get the time. Sometimes it's just not happening. I used to panic a lot whenever things were not going to plan and I didn't manage to finish everything. Now the way I see it is that it can be done the next day. Some things, I know something have deadlines and have to be done, but most of the time I just make sure that I don't set too much work for myself on that day. And then I feel happier about having achieved everything 
and sometimes a bit more instead of having a massive list and not being able to do it and feeling defeated really then the next thing i'm doing is meal planning i find that meal planning is helping me in different ways First of all, I can plan healthier meals and I only buy what I need, um, therefore I don't have too much rubbish to eat in the house and it's helping me to lose the weight and another major, major thing is saving money. You would not believe how much money you can save with meal planning. And another big thing is uh, not wasting food. I hate to waste uh, food because it goes out of date or things like that and this way it just means that i just know exactly what's going to happen in the next few days i can plan my my cooking as well so for example if i know that in two days i have this meal to cook and it takes some preparation like uh, sometimes i have recipes that need to marinate overnight i can add in my to-do list then to marinate the chicken the previous day etc so it's just something that's really working for me <clears throat> i know it's not for everyone but for me it's working anyway so that's really about it with what I do really um, yeah the main things that keep me on track are color coding stickers to-do lists meal planning <laughs> are my top tips for that if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and now I did promise you there would be a surprise at the end um, to remember the lovely lady who makes the stickers on Etsy that I bought well she's offering any view of my viewers a discount code uh, which I will write down here and uh, you can find the link to our Etsy shop in the description box below it's for 20% off any of our range there's no minimum amount to spend and it's until the end of October um, those stickers are the best ones I've found in the UK so far and I just really really like them it does make planning fun and does really help me to make my planner look pretty and also stay organized so if you like them go and have a look at her shop um, and don't forget to use that discount code because 20% um, off is a pretty good discount and you can get quite a few nice stickers with that so I hope you've had a good week and I will see you next week for another video which will be something probably a little bit different from the one that do come back every month and I hope uh, we'll see you then. In the meantime, have a good week. Bye.